Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. <laughs> He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? I don't believe the fire is the only reason this house is in such a state. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. 
I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary and steal a burnt painting? I don't see Silas doing such a thing, let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. find another entrance. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them! Dump them into the ocean! Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. You're... Mr. Winchester, lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Give me that. Control yourself, old man. You've got guts, you little bastard. You and I have got some talking to do. Understood. I'm listening. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. No one lives in the mansion, and you don't take care of it anymore. If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's vermin. I keep an eye out. Vermin? Yeah, that's it. Vermin. Right. This is what we're going to do. I go inside, and I promise that I'll hunt vermin. Okay with you? Mm, I'm not sure. If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. <clears throat> right. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion.
What now? Do you have a moment? What now? Nothing. Sorry. Stop wasting my time. Go away. He is. Shall we enter? Now that you've finished your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. You're right. Let's go. Poor wretch seems to spend the best part of his time isolated from the world. Rather Spartan. The caretaker has simple tastes. I know a thing or two about solitude myself. Bourbon. Empty, of course. This gate is locked. Piers, shall we enter? Have a moment. What now? Nothing. Sorry. Stop wasting my time. Yes. Shall we enter? Let's take a look inside. I'm with you.
Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on? The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? This roast. What strange creature has flesh like this? This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. The boy was probably here, smashed his plate on the floor. Sarah Hawkins plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Something happened at this table. An argument? Hey, Pierce. Daydreaming again? Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Silas managed to bring Let's the see fire if I can find control. something the cops missed. But it was already too late for the Hawkins. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? They had a fight. Why? Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Did someone escape the fire?
If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Desperate attempt to flee. So, Detective, what do you make of it? I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. An original edition of Mary Shelley's you know, Frankenstein, dated 1818. book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. This place was falling apart long before the fire. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. Sarah Hawkins paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. 20,000 leagues under the sea. 
Another story about the mysteries of the deep. Crowbar could prove useful. One of Sarah Hawkins' paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? Locked. The boys' room. A child's fort. From what threat was Simon protecting his world? Tom Sawyer, Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11-year-old boy. What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. What will her room reveal about her? This padlock is too complicated for me. Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. It's no use. The padlock won't give. This door is locked.
This door is locked. Charles and Sarah's wedding, as painted by Sarah herself. Was Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer? Too much rubble. I'll find an easier way. These bandages are covered in dried blood. But whose? <sighs> this door is blocked from the outside. The lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. This door is locked. This place was falling apart long before the fire. What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles's inheritance.
It's no use. The padlock won't give. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. The door is blocked on the other side. Bradley? Is that you? Is anyone there? Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. I'll cover you. This place was falling apart long before the fire. It's no use. The 
padlock won't give. This door is blocked from the outside. This door was closed earlier. Where did he go? Must have got out some way. No, no, he was here. I'm sure. Let's search this room. <laughs> 